What's going on, you guys? What a day for UCLA football. It's been a long, long time since I've last seen a good win. Okay, we beat Texas a few a couple of years ago, we beat ASU, but finally a convincing win where I can say I feel happy. This good to see life in this program. I know there's still a long ways to go with the season, a lot of things to work on. First of all, let me talk about the negative, and that's of course the penalties. Obviously the penalties were not very kind in terms of numbers. And I think Mora is going to be fixing that. He knows he needs to fix that. And we need, obviously, he doesn't have his own players yet. But who would have thought we'd see this team play as well as they did against Nebraska? I was just expecting a competitive game, maybe a one score, two score game. And that's all I was hoping. I didn't expect to see a win. And I, was, I wasn't able to watch this one live. I had to watch some tape and uh, highlights and DVR, whatever. But. This was amazing, just to see offense the way it was. I'm sure our defense gave up some yards. The defense is going to have its struggles, but they still got some stops when it mattered. I mean, Andrew Abbott made the interception and set up the touchdown. Uh, it's amazing. Jonathan Franklin, he's putting up some Heisman-like numbers. I, <laughs> I know it's two games into the year, but we, did, we finally put up those no good offensive numbers against a real team. Everyone said it was just Rice. We were playing a Rice team, and... I felt the same way. We're just playing Rice, but this is some crazy offense we're getting to have, and it's nice to know we have a real offensive coordinator in Noel Mazzone. Uh, he's utilizing Brett Hundley perfectly. We're seeing everybody else kind of buying into the system. It, it's really just a good sign. Uh, I said Heisman numbers for Jonathan Franklin. Uh, Dayton Jones, finally living up to hype. This has been a long time coming. Uh, way overdue, but about time he's living up to the hype. The this team is clicking on a lot of cylinders. The defense still has a lot of things to work on, but you can't complain. Putting up a good offense against the Nebraska team that a lot of people have rated as a Big Ten contender. And you know, I, this may be just a bad game for Nebraska. They may have came out flat. Uh, I don't want to hear this home field advantage thing too, too much. I know this wasn't in Lincoln, but UCLA, the Rose Bowl hasn't been a big home field advantage. It really hasn't been in quite some time. Uh, Probably were a million Nebraska fans there just because they travel well. But anyways, Martinez, he was average. I didn't think he was very impressive. Uh, I think I guess the ratings might have overrated Nebraska a little bit. I guess I overrated them myself just a little bit. But how about those Bruins? How about those Bruins? <laughs> this really just feels good to have a, qu a quality win against the team that is expected to do well. I don't think Nebraska is going to suck later in the year. But right now, it's a good day for the Pac-12 against the Big Ten. Really good day. Uh, I think Arizona State should beat Illinois. Oregon State pulled the upset on Wisconsin, which that's the team that Onakuno, and yes, Onakuno, you had in the national title game. Not a good sign there. Uh, Oregon State, usually they're a September team. They don't do well in September, but for once they're well in that one. What a day. It's been a very, very good day for UCLA football, and I can't complain. It, it, you don't have to blow out Nebraska. You just got to win, and they did just that. Now we got a game against Houston. Can't come out flat against them. We got to take care of business. This is a season where we can look for optimism. I'm not expecting winning the conference. Not expecting instant winning, but right now it looks good, and I'm optimistic. This is a good sign. Thank you, UCLA, for finally giving me reason for optimism. Thank you. See you guys later. Go Bruins.